So in short, the first factory did something to catch the eye of the railway military police, prompting an inspection. And all the while, the provincial army has been here blatantly trying to prevent them from doing that? Let's not forget that the first factory is run by none other than the noble faction. I know that the divisional directors have been operating without much in the way of executive oversight for years now. But Mother always allowed it. She thought that encouraging competition among the divisions would yield more innovations. I never thought that'd lead to something like this. Seems like the lesser of two evils. By the way, hearing about the first factory made me curious. Do the other divisions have their own political allegiances? Well, to give you a basic idea... This is a bit oversimplified, of course. Divisions are made up of many people, and they all have their own opinions. But the positions of each division's directors are clear as day, though. The first and second factories in particular have had a pretty fierce rivalry going on between them for years. But even still, I wouldn't have expected the first factory to do something flagrant enough to prompt a military inspection. Neither would I. Alright, we're gonna do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. And when we tie this up all nice and neat for her, even my mother will have to admit she's grateful to us. Sounds like a plan. That's the spirit! Offhand, I'd say this falls under the scope of our field study, too. Thanks, everyone. Sounds like we're in for a ride. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the field study tasks Sharon gave us for today. I think we can handle these. It's still 8 a.m., so we have plenty of time to work our way through the list. And while we're doing that, we can ask the people we meet about how things stand between Reinford's divisions. Look alive, everyone. It's time to get to work. Right. Roger. Gotcha. to me. I've got this. Right. My turn. Here we go. Right. All right. Here we go. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Right. I've got this. 